Hey guys, what's going on? This is Travis P11. I'd like to welcome you back to the channel. Well, it's been months and months of me whining and complaining, and finally, uh, a, a good American manufacturer has come through and made a more affordable um, 762 by 39 bolt action rifle. Now, there's quite a few options that are out there. There's other companies that make these other than Ruger in this caliber. Um, but when I saw this sucker come up for sale, I knew I had to have one, mainly because of the cost of ammunition, the fact that the 762 by 39 is going to be dang near perfect for the size of deer that I tend to harvest and just um, overall the, the quality that goes into the rifle. Uh, we'll talk about some of the specifics of this rifle in just a little bit. I did order it from Davidson's.com. I used their little gun genie tool. I purchased it and had it delivered to my FFL, which is SS Pawn in Lexington, Nebraska. Guys, I want you to give Stan a call and he will take care of all of your firearms needs. Stan's been a longtime supporter of this channel and he definitely helps out. So, looking at the Ruger American Rifle. Okay, so we're gonna do a little unboxing here. Um, it is a fairly lengthy box. We'll try to get as much in as we can. Apologize for the glare. Um, I just basically opened it at the dealer just to make sure that, that it was okay to take home, that nothing was broken, there was no issues with it. Uh, the stock upon opening is definitely a lot darker than what you see like when you look it up online. It almost looks more like a tan. Now it is FDE, flat darker, so if you know anything about your firearms, then you know that uh, that can kind of vary a little bit, almost like a clay color. Just comes packaged in a simple box. Uh, let's see, what else do we have in the box real quick? We've got some accessories here. I'm guessing we're probably gonna have a lock. Oh, we've got the bolt. Oh, interesting. Okay, it's separate. I'm gonna take that out. I'll probably take that apart and clean it uh, before I go to the range the first time, which hopefully will be soon. You've got your gun lock. Let's get you a uh, close-up of that bolt before I forget. Show you what it looks like. Now, I don't know if this is typical of the other um, American Ranch bolts, but build quality seems to be pretty good. You got a polymer rear on here. Again, a nice polished handle. It's, it's, I'm, I mean, overall, I'm pretty impressed with it. It seems to be a pretty decent build, especially for the, uh, the low asking price here. So there you go. All right, so that's your bolt, guys. And we've got, Ruger usually gives you all kinds of goodies when you buy their guns. We got the manual for the firearm. The registration cards, a couple stickers, uh, looks like we've got well, some other stuff for Ruger knives going on here, made by CRKT or Cricket. I always call it Cricket. All right, cool. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, the rifle itself. Let's get the box out of the way first. Now, again, um, I, I was getting a little worried when these came up uh, online for sale because they were selling really quick. Uh, Davidson's had something like 99 in stock and when I finally ordered they were down to like 29 well they did get them back in stock which is a good thing so if you want these things you can still find them I did pay $434 for the rifle uh, not counting tax and I know you can always get cheaper prices if you look around you know but for me that was about the best deal and I like to get stay in the business I might have paid maybe 15 or 20 bucks more than Bud's guns and frankly I really don't care nothing against Bud gun, Bud's guns but I like to try to keep my money as local as I can all right Take it out of the plastic. Go ahead and check it out. All right, so you've got that matte black finish. I'll be reading to you some some of the uh, vital statistics on the uh, rifle here in a little bit. It's got a action release very similar to that Ruger Precision rifle. Also, you've got a little tab here on the back that I believe you push to release the uh, bolt. Okay, five plus one. I do have a twenty round Mini Thirty magazine that I purchased for it. So you got your magazine right there. Very cool. We got the rubber butt pad. And I'll just shoulder to see how it feels overall. Stock is just your just your regular, you know, polymer stock. You've got your little Ruger logo on the bottom there. It does have a it does have an adjustable trigger, so we'll test that out too. I normally am not one who's big on dry firing my uh, rifles, but it's one of those things where we're going to do that. It does have the shorter barrel? It's uh, 16.12 inches, and the gun weighs like five point uh, what was it one five pounds, just a shade under six pounds. Got a nice solid Ruger Picatinny rail up on the top. Um, optics, I'm going to put a fairly inexpensive but very functional uh, scope on the top of it until I can get something different for it. I've got one that will take it out to 300 yards with no issues. You have your swivels on it. Now when I take this to the range, I will be using a bipod and I'm also going to go ahead and lead sled it just to see what happens. So overall build and construction feels pretty good. It's got a lot of weight towards the center of the rifle which is nice. Um, let's go ahead and put that bolt in. Like I said, I'll probably take the bolt apart and clean it. I've never taken a Ruger bolt apart, so I really don't know what it's going to do, but put that in. Oh yeah, very smooth, very smooth, nice. Locks up and you can pull back. 
push the little tab if you want to take that uh, that bolt out of there. So that's not bad. Okay, it's not you know it's not a precision a precision rifle by any means, but it's going to do the job for what I want it to do. Let's put the magazine in here. Again, we got the five round mag. Yeah, I think we're going to go this way. There we go. Snap that into place. Now this one on the twenty round magazines, and I believe the tens. There is a stopper that will stop the bolt from closing. I don't seem to notice that with the five round mag, but in the video that I watched from Ruger, they show it actually uh, uh, leave, staying locked open when you have an empty mag, but I don't believe it's on the five rounder. So there you go. Nice uh, ambidextrous stock. You got the tank safety. Okay, let's go ahead and just do a dry fire. Okay, chamber is clear. Feed ramps look like they have a little bit of polish on them, which is really nice. We're gonna give this a full clean before we take it out to the range. Trigger. Oh. oh yeah, not bad. All right guys, so just a uh, quick shouldering here of the Ruger American Ranch. Again, I'd just say I've got maybe average size arms. Very comfortable, you can pretty much hold it wherever you want to. Um, nice high cheek weld on it. Granted, I don't have any kind of optic on there, but I can put anything from a red dot to um, any kind of glass that I want. Um, it's, it's it's not bad. The weight's just definitely centered over the center, so it rests in your hand nicely. And now, granted, with that 20 round mag, I'm gonna have to pull my hand out just a little bit, but again, it's got a good balance. It's not bad overall. And you know, really, we're just talking about an American rifle um, it, with just a different chambering than a lot of the other American rifles that are already out there. So just simple shouldering, nice, comfortable recoil pad on the back. Uh, I think it's gonna work out nice. All right, cool. Okay, so what we have here is just the brand new 20 round 762 by 39, uh, yeah, 20 round mini 30 magazine. Bad thing about this, we don't really have much of an anti tilt follower going on here. Not too worried about it because when I was watching the, the Ruger video, they have a, a marksman that's talking about the rifle, telling you what you need to know about it. They recommend you actually tap it from the front to make sure that the rounds all seat properly so you don't have any uh, nose diving going on. So let's just see what happens here. we go. Rocks right in. Got a nice 20 round magazine going on here. Okay, let's go ahead and pull back. There you go. You can see inside of it, I can see the plastic follower is actually preventing the bolt from closing. So that is very cool. So I'll know when I'm out. I mean, obviously I should know anyway, but for just long range sessions where you're focused more on the target, not so worried about the number of rounds left in the magazine. So one way to go, you just push forward on the paddle, take the magazine right out. Okay, we got that five rounder again. Again, first time I've handled the gun, so just push forward on the paddle. Magazine comes right out, so there you go. All right, guys, so that is it for right now. This is just a quick unboxing and just kind of a general take on the uh, Ruger American Ranch 762 by 39 bolt action rifle. Um, I'm going to be excited to try this out. It might just become the new truck gun. I know I, have, I like to have my ARs with me and so on, but. Uh, you know, if I got a nice scope on there and I got plenty of, of rounds of ammunition, it, it might just work just fine. So anyway, there you go, guys. I want to thank you for joining me today. Thanks for checking out the channel. Please like or subscribe. Uh, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter. I'm over on Vidme with my channel, TravisP11. You can also follow me over on Instagram and support the channel. It's TravisP11. I'm sorry, www.patreon.com backslash TravisP11. If you want to support the channel, again, it all goes towards ammunition. And at some point, I'll be buying a firearm with uh, Patreon funds in a while. It's going to take a while, but eventually we'll let that happen. It'll be the gun that the Patreon fans bought. And uh, we'll go from there. So there you have it, guys. Thanks for joining us today. Please like or subscribe. Guys, I want you to have fun. I want you to be safe. And as you know, we will talk to you soon. All right, take care. Bye-bye.